Okay, I am back. For some reason, the connection went off. It, you know, and the person that's in the office with me is yelling over saying I'm fine, but I couldn't see any people down there, so I felt like I was talking to myself. So we're going to back up a little bit. <clears throat> Excuse me. We'll do the quote of the day again. Hello again. There is no passion to be found playing small and settling for a life that is less than you're capable of living by Nelson Mandela. And getting back to what I say, how we all have a tendency to play small and we end up in a life that's not the life we want. And I have to know my day job is senior living. So I deal with a lot of 80, 90, 100 years old. And it's heartbreaking when I look at you and say, you know, I always wanted to do X, Y, and Z, and I never thought I could. And now that I'm 80, 90, I realize I could have done anything. I, Bob Thomas, you know, there's a book out. I've never read the book, but it's like if I would have known, I would have wore purple. And it, I see her now. <laughs> Thank you. And it was about a lady who loved purple, but she didn't wear it because she felt that it was too bold, too out there. And when you get older, you realize, you know, I should have. So a lot of us have a tendency to hide. And, that, and that's what we were talking about, you know, whether through high school. <laughs> great. High school, I don't get the eyes. See, Keenan, for, well, I guess I see you. <laughs> whether through high school or college, you know, like I was saying, we get married. And next thing we know, we're living a life that isn't our life. And then we get so fear-based that we're afraid to make changes. Because we're afraid, well, if I do this or become this person, what will my husband, my wife think? You know, I'm, I'm in this job. Hi, PP football. Peppy football. Football. That's cool. Um, what will my husband or my wife think if I move on, if I decide that I don't want to be in this position, I want to do something else? Or what will happen? I'll hike decisions if I decide I want to go back to college and, and get a degree in this. Or, you know, my husband worked at a, at a newspaper here in town, you know, in Arizona. He worked at the, um, it used to be called Phoenix Newspaper. I have no idea what it's called now. And he worked there for years because it's, it was a good job. It paid him well. But it wasn't fulfilling to him. But that's what he did. And, you know, he got to the point. He had some, hi, Tony Hernandez. He had some health issues. And he finally got to where, you know, what do you really want to do? And he really wanted to be a special needs teacher. More than anything in the world, that's what he wanted to do. Well, it was okay, go be a special needs teacher. But we were fortunate because he had an illness, he had long-term care insurance, so it covered us through, so he was able to change jobs. Not a, not a lot of people are fortunate like that. And so you end up being an Esperanza Gazelle, how are you? You end up being in a job that you're not happy with. You end up becoming a person you're not. You end up hanging out with people that really aren't who you hang out with. I'm a very spiritual person. You know, when I was very young, I used to talk to dogs. I knew animals could talk. I knew, you know, I never wanted to kill a bug because I was killing another human being. I never wanted to pull um, flowers out of the flower garden because I could feel the pain they were feeling. If I walked into a room as a child and everybody was sad, I would be sad. And I can remember going to a funeral of a really close family friend. And we were driving, and I looked at my sister, and I said, I, would, I had been at school all day in my defense before you say what I said. I had been in school all day. And I said, do you think they're going to have any food there? Because I'm kind of hungry. And she looked at me. She goes, how can you think about that? You know, Bob just died. I mean, we just found out about it. Bob just died. How can you think that? And I remember looking at her and saying, well, because he really didn't die. He just went to a different life. He's fine. He's okay. He just moved on. I mean, we're sad, but he's good. And I remember her looking at me and thinking, what is wrong with you? So at that point, I had to start hiding that spiritual side of me. And I kept it hidden for so long. And then, you know, I was in the Air Force, and I met this guy who was a shaman. Loved the hearts. High teacup. Keep the hearts going. He was a shaman, and he started teaching me some stuff. And then we went our own separate ways, and I hid, I hid again. So I hid the side that was very personal to me for years. And then I ran into, it's a long story, but I ran into somebody who said, you know, you need to go talk to the psychic. She has a message for you. And I'm thinking, really, psychics? Because every time I talk to psychics, bad things happen. So no. But I love the blue heart. I don't know who has the blue hearts, but keep them going. It goes with my Find Your Blue Rose theme. So I um, met with her, and she started telling me all this stuff. And all of a sudden, it was, like, it was like the universe was giving me a hug. It was like the universe was saying, stop hiding. This is who you are. And it felt so wonderful but so scary because when you're in a very conservative job, hi, Chris Sanchez, you're in a very conservative job, it's hard when you turn around to people and say, I'm going to shaman school, and now I'm a shaman, I can do card readings, I can, you know, I can sense people, I can 
look at somebody and tell you what's wrong with them, met, you know, physically. I can, well, I can do a whole host of things. I can do card readings, and if somebody on my team will tell you they're very accurate, they're so accurate she won't let me do card readings anymore for her. Although I beg her all the time, she's like, "Nope, that last one was too accurate." So I think we all have a tendency to hide, and it's finding the courage not to hide. It's fine. It's understanding that you're here for a purpose. We all have that one reason for being here. And if you've ever had numerology done, it'll tell you what your destiny is. And that helped a lot too. When I went to see the psychic, she said, you know, go have your numerology done. I think you'll see. And everything in my numerology was spiritual. So anyway, we're here for a specific reason. And some people get to find it when they're very young. And I envy those people that knew when they were five or six they wanted to be an artist or they wanted to be a doctor or a loyal lawyer. I wasn't one of those people. It took me many, many years to figure it out. So if you're hiding, stop hiding. Whatever you want, the universe will provide to the minute you ask for it. So start doing what you want to do. You know, no, you may not be able to quit your job today to do something, you know, to follow your path, but you can at least start looking into your path. So again, the quote of the day is, and I, my Mac just shut down, so I have to um, wake it back up. The quote of the day is, there is no passion to be found playing small and settling for a life that is less than you're capable of living. Nelson Mandela. You can do, be, have anything in this world that you want. You just need to have the courage to ask for it and the faith to get it. Otherwise, it's there. Okay, Scopers, I will talk to you later. Up oh, a little numerology. Today's uh, um, August 12th. 12 is a three number. It rocks back and forth. It kind of, you know, goes goes around. And eight is a intuitive number. So we're an intuitive month and an intuitive year. So there's a lot of good things taking place right now. Um, with for you, here we go. Um, I'm sorry, yeah, 12, is, I'm sorry, 8 plus 12 is 20, and 2, 2 is a relationship number, and 12 means creativity. That's what I knew my 12 wasn't going well. 12 means creativity and learning, so you have a big opportunity today to be creative or to learn new things. So take advantage of that. If it's something you're thinking you want to learn or do, today's the day to do it. Otherwise, Scopers, I'll talk to you later. Have a great day, and follow who you're meant to be. Take action today. Thanks, guys. Bye-bye.